photographers. I'm uh, here to talk about some resources I've put up here, some movies and stuff to watch. And I just want to make sure it's clear exactly what you should be watching and what I want you to take from it. So we're just going to kind of go through here and make sense of it. Uh, so here, it's the front page of our Canvas uh, class. I don't know what the, the terminology is. Uh, and you can see the wonderful images that I I uh, spent hours on crafting uh, just for you. So this would be not only you know informative but sexy as well. They're gone uh, because Canvas is struggling to get through this current uh, moment in time. So you may see just a simple uh, uh, you know image that says cultural geography or whatever uh, on here, or you may see this big thing with a question mark right either way this is just a little banner thing we've got the main links here but then down here we've got part one which assuming you finish the uh, midterm uh, by this point you're completely done with and then part two this is the remainder of the class right so if you click in here let that open up uh, i've got this this page is still under construction to remind you you know, back off. Uh, be patient. I'm, I'm making this up as I go. Well, also, now an elementary school teacher and a middle school teacher for my uh, children. Uh, so you, as you scroll down here, you'll see stuff. Here's that agricultural stuff already posted. You go further down. We've got uh, this political geography section, and I have two videos that are good context for what it is we're talking about and, and good ways to get you guys thinking more deeply about some of this stuff. The uh, the Syrian war, the civil war, a little short, I think this is like six or seven minutes long. It's confusing, you'll see, and that's just the civil war over there is confusing. There's a lot going on, but this at least I think, does a good job of introducing the different key players and just showing, if nothing else, how overly complicated this is and why despite seeing different things about what's happening in Syria today, it's not as simple as just the U.S. going in and saving the, you know, Syria, if not the world. And this also works for pretty much anywhere else where you see some atrocity going on, some horrible situation for other people. You might ask, like, well, why don't we do anything about it? Well, this goes to show just how overly complicated doing something can be. So watch this. I'm not going to test you on details of this this specific war, uh, but it is just just good to watch and, and get a sense of, of how much maybe you don't know about what's going on over there. This is still an issue today, despite you know when this was made. There there's been no solution since this uh, little thing was made. So watch that. And then this Vice thing, this is like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, something like that. This one's fantastic. As soon as I found this on YouTube, I know I had to share it with students uh, because it's all about illegal border crossing, which is something as Southern Californians we're faced with, uh, you know, all the time. And news media and people talk about it, and we all have different opinions on it. I think this is a great introduction to kind of looking at it uh, from the, you know, the immigrant perspective, but not in that typical kind of cliche way of these are people who simply want a better life and they want to come over here and escape the atrocities of their country. Uh, actually, if, if nothing else, it shows that uh, um, immigrants from Mexico and other Latin American countries don't necessarily, believe it or not, Americans, don't necessarily want to come here and stay here. They'd actually much rather go back home. And, and you see things are introduced there. As you uh, as you watch this, A, look for the, uh, when, you know, West Antelope Valley style homes uh, kind of pop up in the middle of Mexico. That's fascinating. Um, but as you're watching, and also think about, like, this just this whole idea of, immigration, illegal immigration, the idea of building a wall or having some other kind of program to limit it. I want you to question that. And, and you know, regardless of how you feel about, uh, you know, 
immigration, illegal immigration, undocumented immigration, however you want to phrase that terminology. You can say, open up the borders, who cares, or shut it all down. Like, I'm not interested in your own personal opinion so much as I want to see that you guys are thinking about why it, this is bigger than just building a wall. All right, and when I when I record, I'm going to get down and record this political geography stuff. We'll actually talk about the U.S.-Mexico border and a wall and all of that uh, in a bit. But just thinking about why is immigration bigger than simply a wall? Why will a wall not work? Okay? Think about that. Um, and that will just, you know, spoiler alert, that kind of question will show up on a, on a quiz you have coming up. So watch that. And it's just kind of, it's just... This one's a great one to watch. So watch that. Fantastic. There's some stuff. As I said, I'll be getting this political geography thing recorded as soon as I finish this up here, this talking to you guys. Uh, I'll get to this industrial geography one when I get to it. Uh, and then down here a little further in the development stuff, I'll have some more things that are popping up in here. But I, uh, I also have this link to Poverty Incorporated, this film. And if you click on it, it's not on YouTube, so I couldn't embed it in here. But it takes you to this, it starts playing uh, right away. It takes you to, what is it, Tubi. Um, that's delightful. Uh, TubiTV.com, I, I guess, um, is how we say it. I've never heard of it. I haven't heard of a lot of stuff. Uh, hopefully, this isn't some weird like Chinese spy website or whatever. Look, if you don't like this, go on to whatever other streaming rental service you have and pay the three ninety nine for it or whatever it is. Uh, but I expect you guys to watch Poverty Incorporated. Again, indicating that you will be tested on this down the road. And this is a full documentary. Uh, it's an hour and a half long. And I love this one because it's easy to talk about. I do feel that it is flawed, and I'll get into that after you guys have watched it. Um, but it also brings up some very good points. All right, so it's it's good to watch. You'll learn a lot about this concept of development, which is effectively it's just the way in which people in the wealthy countries of the world try to make the poor countries not so poor. All right, try to increase the standard of living. In a place like in here, you'll see Haiti comes up a lot. Uh, in Kenya and Ghana, I think, are, are shown. Um, there's a lot on Haiti, but it's just, it's really, it's looking at poor countries around the world, right? How do we bring them up out of poverty? And this film, why I use it, is because it does go against and it criticizes the traditional development model, which definitely needs to be criticized. All right now, their solutions need to be criticized as well. So I'll, I'll talk. We'll talk about this after the fact. But go ahead and watch this now as you're waiting for more lectures to show up. And so as you're watching it, as I said with the Michael Moore stuff, um, you know, when we watch Roger and me, think about content as well as form. All right. So what are they telling us? What are they? You know, what messages are they trying to get out? What's their argument? Because the filmmakers clearly have a thesis or an argument of some kind. They're arguing for something. So figure out what that is. But then also think about the form aspect, which is how are they conveying this, right? What images are they showing? And also what are they not showing? Who are they interviewing? And then who are they not interviewing, right? Who's doing the speaking? And who doesn't get to speak, but we see their images on the screen. That's the kind of stuff we're getting into. Going back to Roger and me, like we talked about it, where you would have some, you know, god awful eviction scene, right? So Michael Moore sets that up. So you're seeing a family getting evicted, and then it quickly cuts over to like those old ladies on the golf course or whatever, right? It goes from the poor who are suffering to the wealthy who are doing just fine. And in setting it up that way and editing the film in this way, what it does is it it makes us feel a certain way, right? We think a certain way. So the filmmaker is trying to guide us along, so be aware of that stuff. Question that stuff. And I will say, and this, this film gets into a lot of good, just kind of 
concepts uh, in, in mainly it's, they're dealing with sociology stuff. Um, so pay attention to that. Like when they get into Durkheim's social fact and they get into uh, it gets in a kind of like a teaching moment where they put up definitions and have little diagrams. Pay attention to those key terms as well as just the current models of how development and foreign aid and stuff like that works. Now, one thing they don't um, define that they talk about a lot is the concept of paternalism. Okay? Which you can hear paternalism within there, you've got parent, right? So that's a clue as to what it is. But it's a way in which one nation or one group of nations uh, acts toward another group, right? And it's the idea that the wealthy nations act as parents who know better, and the poor nations, um, you know, are the kids, right? They don't have a say. It's not a democracy or whatever. And that, see, and that works fine if you're a parent. My God, that works fine if you're a parent. I'm, I'm you know, I'm teaching a bunch of kids. Um, all their their homeschooling stuff that we're we're dealing with right now. Um, yeah, there's no, they have no say, uh, in in the way in which it's going to progress or whatever. I'm in charge, damn it, and we're gonna get through it, right? So in the case of an actual parent and child dynamic. Paternalism is fantastic, uh, and if you don't agree with that, that means you don't have kids, uh, and and just wait, just have kids and live your life. There's democracy is no, there's no place for it um, in a family. But when we're dealing with independent sovereign nations around the world, we can't simply have one group, like say, oh I don't know, the United States, acting as its parents and telling other independent countries with people who are not citizens of our country telling them how to behave or what to do or whatever, right? So they criticize paternalism, rightly so, but that's what they're getting at. If it's not fully clear right, as you're going through and watching this stuff. Um, so there's that. And, and oh, and one other thing. So, you know, just go through again, content versus form. What are they trying to say? Do you agree with it? Just think about what are the problems facing these poor nations? Uh, but another thing too, I don't know if you guys know uh, who Bono is. Most don't, um, if you're under the age of 30, uh, I think. But Bono, he was a superstar, oh, like, you know, 30, 40 years ago. Uh, he's the front man for the band U2. Uh, Google this, though. Look at Wikipedia. You'll, you'll see. Um, they're a perfectly adequate uh, rock group from the 80s and 90s ish and they're still around but bono made it his his deal to not just do music but to get involved with development and he's done some good stuff in helping to broker um deals or we get rid of debt from you know impoverished countries and stuff like that but they they criticize this guy but i found as the years go on as i've i've shown this thing i think this thing came out like 20 12 or 13 or 4, somewhere uh, around there. But the more I show it, I realize fewer and fewer students even know who this guy is that they're talking about. So that's who he is. Do a little Googling uh, afterwards to, uh, you know, or before to get a sense of who this guy is. But but I think that's the last thing I need to mention before you watch it. So watch it. Take notes on, you know, what's going on with the world and what is the film saying. And then in a little bit, I'll record, probably as I talk about development, I'll, I'll incorporate um, some kind of, you know, mini lecture on the film and ways, you know, what it's doing and, and, you know, how I feel about it. And you guys can compare that with what you found. All right. So you got a handful of things to watch. Plenty of time, I'm sure, to watch it. Uh, and just keep watching more, more and more of these uh, um, recorded lectures will show up. Uh, don't worry about deadlines like the, the World Bank report, which I'll talk about when I start talking about development. I have a due date, I think it's like May 15th, which is, it's plenty of time between now and then to do it. But if I can't actually record that lecture on development in which I you know, not only talk about this film, but get into that assignment itself, and I'll show you guys what I want you to do, you know, if I don't get to it, Within enough time, I'll push it back. I'm not being picky on this, this uh, late, you know, deadline stuff. Because um, frankly, I'm, you know, I'm scrambling to get this stuff done. I know a lot of you guys are scrambling with your own issues. So 
just keep working out this stuff. Communicate with me if need be. We're going to get through it. We're almost there. All right. Happy viewing, students. I'll talk to you later.